Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? It is time for another wash day. I did start this wash day with a pre-pool using Olaplex number zero and number three. I did do an entire video. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out right here. And you can see my thoughts because I have a lot of thoughts. But let's get into the other parts of the wash day. We're starting off this wash day with a new to me product. This is the Eden Body Works Papaya Caster Scalp Cleanser. I got interested in this because I watched my girl, Trusted of Alexis. She used it on her channel a few months ago. I will link her down below. Y'all, this product smells delicious. <laughs> it smells like, it's not true papaya. It's giving me more a tropical smoothie. This stuff smells good enough to eat. This is one of the best smelling products I have ever smelt in my natural hair life. Love it so much. It is such a delicious scent. I did apply this on soaking wet hair. I like applying my co-washes on soaking wet hair. So this was no different. According to Eden, it's supposed to be a gentle cleanser to exfoliate and nourish the hair and scalp. It is supposed to remove dirt buildup and balance the hair and the scalp's pH. The first five ingredients are water, cetyl alcohol, sterile alcohol, castor seed oil, which is personally one of my favorite oils, as well as papaya fruit extract. The sixth ingredient is actually apple cider vinegar, and that's the only type of cleaning-ish ingredient in this product. Everything else is more of an emollient, something to smooth the hair, something to soften the hair, but there's no real cleanser in this product. You know we talk about surfactants or things that clean the hair, this ain't it. The only thing in this is apple cider vinegar based on my knowledge of ingredients and my research. Cause I don't just be talking y'all, I be Googling, okay? Cause Google is free. When it comes to apple cider vinegar, it's not really air surfactant, it can, clean the hair to a certain degree, but it's not really a cleanser per se, but it can help to balance the pH of the scalp. That's why that's mentioned as one of Eden's claims, but I wouldn't call this product a cleansing conditioner in the traditional sense that I think of it. It's something that does create suds. You do have a bit of lather, but that comes from BTMS and cetrimonium chloride and some of the other ingredients that can create this type of foamy sensation, but it's not foam in the soap sense. Does that make sense? So it's not really a cleanser. It is more of a true conditioner. So will this clean your hair like some of my other co-washes? No. But sis, when it comes to moisture and softness, I have never felt a conditioner or a co-wash so softening. Like the softness on this is incredible. Incredible. I do think it was able to get my hair clean, but definitely not as clean as other co-washes that I own and that I like. But the softness is on match. I can see this being a good pre-poo. It's an amazing detangler. I wasn't sure if it was the Olaplex or it was this. That's how smooth my hair was. I've never been able to detangle my hair so effectively with a co-washing product. The slip and the moisture is on another level. This is an instant staple. I freaking love this. I feel like it cleaned my hair enough because I don't have super dirty hair. I don't use a lot of heavy products. So for me, this was enough, but it may not be enough for somebody else. But I do like it and upon rinsing my hair out, my hair did feel clean, my hair felt good. But most importantly, my hair felt buttery, buttery soft, like so freaking soft. I don't think you can find this stories very much, but I will leave a link down to everything that I use in this video down below. Y'all, y'all, incredible, incredible. If you know my wash day, you know I like to follow up a co-wash with a clay wash, and that's what I did. I went in with a clay wash that I've used before on my channel, and I will leave the link down below to that review. My clay wash process is the same. I apply clay just like I do a co-wash. I smother it onto my hair, I apply it to my scalp, I make sure I get it into my scalp, I make sure I get it down my strands. The type of clay wash that you use doesn't really matter. 
I also have a DIY clay wash that I will link down below. I'm actually just going to skip over the clay because we're not going to talk much about it. Anyway, let's get into deep conditioning. Today I'll be trying the Carol's Daughter Coco Creme Curl Quenching Deep Moisture Mask for very dry, curly to coily hair, which is my hair. I naturally have dry hair. If you've been on my channel, you know I'm obsessed with the moisture butter from this line. I love that product. It's a product that I've used on my channel multiple times. At this point, Carol's daughter needs to run me some coins, but that's all I'm gonna say about that. It smells just like the moisture butter, so if you like that scent, amazing. If you don't like that scent, stay away, child, because it sounds like the it smells like the same thing. It looks like the same product too. You should be careful if you have them just to not use the deep conditioner as a cream and the cream as a deep conditioner, but I mean, it probably has the same ingredients. <laughs> to be honest, all these products be the same, y'all. It's just marketing. We can't make marketing steal our joy. The first five ingredients are water, tetera alcohol, coconut oil, so if you're coconut oil sensitive if you drifted from the lights and given up coconut oil you may want to stay away from this pentramonium chloride and glycerol stearate there's also shea butter as the sixth ingredient definitely not as thick though as the cream it's definitely a looser consistency but it's still very much a thicker deep conditioner and this is more affordable the co-wash I forgot to mention well, it's under $10, and this is just around $10. This is like $11, $12. I forgot to apply my oil, which is no bueno, so we're gonna just cheat and go in with a bit of oil. That is my preference. Give extra dry hair a buttery dose of replenishing hydration with our Curl Quenching Deep Moisture Mask. This intensely moisturizing cocoa cream system with our shampoo and conditioner is blended with our cocoa cream recipe. It offers an extreme moisture experience, leaving hair shinier and touchably softer. Okay, I'ma hold you to that. I do want to note that this product does not contain silicones, it does not contain mineral oil, petrolatum, parabens, or any of the stuff we typically stay away from. All right, y'all, this is what my hair is looking like after applying the cocoa creme deep conditioner. Usually I go under my steamer with deep conditioner, so because this week is a strengthening week, I don't want to like over moisturize my hair for lack of a better word. Using my steamer, I kind of want to keep my hair balanced, so there's no need for a steamer. I'm just going to go in with my regular hooded dryer. After sitting under the hooded dryer for 30 minutes, I went into the shower and I rinsed my hair with warm water. Y'all know the deal, this is what I always do. I know some people go in with cold water, but warm water works best for my low porosity hair. Almost an hour later, these are the results. My hair does feel nice and soft. Is it the softest it has ever felt? No. There are things, you know, in my stash over here that I do prefer, but a lot of them are not $12. 12 ounces <laughs> do with that information as you will my hair does feel good my hair does feel better than a lot of more expensive products there's some $20 deep conditioners for eight ounces that don't do what this product has done the definition that I got once applying it the softness that I got this isn't a typical result with some deep conditioners. I do have about half a use left, so I definitely plan to use it up this summer. And if I was ever in a bind in Target or something that I really need a deep conditioner, I know I could turn to this deep conditioner to give me the results that I'm looking for. Now for the scalp cleanser, this is a yes. This is a hell yes. When it comes to being a pre-poo, a detangler, a conditioner, yes. Maybe not the best, best co-wash because it doesn't contain a surfactant like I said but besides that pick this up pick this up if you don't try anything else from this video pick this up but that's it guys that is my wash day I hope you enjoyed this wash day with me and I'll see you in the next one peace bye y'all